Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Region 9 Healthcare Coalition November 2016 General Membership Meeting. Um, we're pretty excited to be here today. Actually, I'm excited to be here all the time because I get to see some great people that we, we know, that we work with, not only from Spokane or Davenport, our normal jobs, but from uh, the region as a whole. And it's really exciting to see all the faces uh, and all the great people that are working with us on healthcare coalition activities. So it's, it is really exciting to have you here today, and I truly appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. Uh, today we've got somewhat a little, uh, a little shorter agenda than we typically have, but I think we've got some great content that we want to share and some great conversations that we want to facilitate today. Um, so uh, just to kind of, I uh, guess, some general housekeeping agenda items. If you're new to the facility, uh, this is an Enduris facility in Airway Heights. Uh, restrooms are just out the door as you walked in uh, on either side. Drinking fountains are out there as well. If for some reason we do have to leave this room, um, we've got the doors straight out to the parking lot. If those are not available, we've got side doors on both sides. Uh, if we have to leave the room, let's please meet over in the northern parking lot. We can validate that everybody has, has left the building before you leave the facility. Um, so uh, keep that in mind just in case that event takes place. There is a sign-in sheet on the desk as you walk in the door. Please make sure that you get signed in to the meeting before you take off today so that we have a good account of everybody that's here. Um, so today we've got a few things on the agenda that we're excited to bring to you. Uh, the first is we're going to have Susan Gilbert from Spokane Regional Health District um, walk through and talk to us about the effort and the work that took place in responding to the mumps cases that we had here in Spokane at Whitworth College. Uh, and then we're going to transition to uh, a conversation about our Disaster Medical Coordination Center um, processes and procedures. Uh, we have uh, been doing some work to upgrade those policies and procedures based on actual events that have taken place and lessons learned. So we're making improvements that make us better at what we're trying to do. And it's exciting to bring some of that conversation to you and uh, share the ideas and to hear your ideas on how to make it better. And then finally, we're going to dive into a world that is confusing and, and probably uh, involves everybody in the room. We're going to spend some time around the new CMS guidance um, and around the condition of participation with the CMS rule, uh, which has impacted most, if not all of us, in some way and uh, has sent most of, most of us scrambling to figure out what does this mean to me, how does it impact me, and what's the best way for me to respond to meet these requirements. So we're going to start that conversation, and I believe that it's going to be an ongoing conversation, not only within your facility, um, but within your partners, with your partners, and, and with us as a region as well. And we really hope to get some feedback from you today on what we as a healthcare coalition can do to help out your facility uh, as you strive to meet, to meet those guidelines. And then uh, after that, uh, Travis is going to do a presentation on, on what, we, what our current thinking is. And then we're going to break into work groups and really have a facilitated discussion for about 10 minutes. So uh, we look at, if we stay close to our agenda, well, not if you look at that clock over there, but uh, probably getting out of here about 2.30 to 2.45, I think, today, uh, by the time we achieve our agenda goals. So with that, any thoughts, questions? Great. So we'll start with Susan. 